Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. This is the name of Telegram channel, GK Today YouTube. Now we have started a new channel, Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now let's start. Mahatma Gandhi Setu, that means bridge, which was in use recently, is located in which state of India? So recently, this bridge was in use because the upstream land of this bridge was inaugurated by Minister of Road Transport and Highways, that means Mr. Nitin Gadkari. So this bridge is in Bihar and this bridge is over river Ganga. This will connect Patna and Hajipur. So the bridge is in Bihar. It is over river Ganga. It was inaugurated by Minister of Road Transport and Highways and it will connect Patna and Hajipur. Now recently, Bihar was in news as actor Pankaj Tripathi was appointed as the brand ambassador of Khadi of Bihar. Recently, Mr. Nitin Gadkari was in news as he launched Khadi gift box of silk mask and this gift box has been developed by KVIC. What is KVIC? It is Khadi and Village Industries Commission. It is under MSME and present minister is Mr. Nitin Gadkari. Who is the chairperson of high level group on agricultural exports set up by 15th finance commission so this will be headed by mr sanjeev puri and he is the chairperson of itc so this high level group has been set up to increase our exports of agricultural products what is finance commission it is a constitutional body it is constituted as per the articles of 280 what is the meaning of constitutional body it means those organizations which are mentioned in the constitution of india what is the meaning of statutory body statutory bodies are those bodies which are made by the law of parliament for example nhrc that is national human rights commission now what are executive bodies executive bodies are those bodies which are created through executive action that means neither they are mentioned in the constitution nor there is a specific law for those bodies for example niti ayog now coming back to 15th finance commission so the chairperson of 15th finance commission is mr n k singh which global institution has inked deal with reliance power for constructing power plant in bangladesh so recently adb that is asian development bank signed a deal with reliance bangladesh lng and power limited so this is an agreement of 200 million dollars and this has been signed between asian development bank and reliance so reliance power is going to build and operate a power plant in bangladesh now out of these 200 million dollars 100 million dollars will be provided by asian development bank remaining 100 will be provided by leap initiative what is leap it is leading asia's private infrastructure fund so this is a fund of jica what is jica it is japan international cooperation agency now recently asian development bank was also in news as it became the observer of ngfs what is ngfs it is network for greening the financial system and this was launched during the paris one planet summit and this summit held in 2017 so what is this ngfs it is network for greening the financial system which global firm became the world's most valuable publicly listed company after surpassing saudi aramco so recently apple became the world's most valuable publicly listed company so the market capitalization of aramco is 1.760 trillion while the market capitalization of apple is 1.82 trillion now coming back to saudi so recently saudi arabia was in news as it is the president of g20 group for this year saudi arabia was also in news as it became the first arab nation to be the full-fledged member of fatf what is fatf it is financial action task force recently fatf was in news as it released first ever report on wildlife trade and the title of this report was money laundering and illegal wildlife trade so this is the first ever report by fatf on the issues of illegal wildlife trade now fatf was set up in 1989 and it is an initiative of g7 group the headquarters of fatf is in oecd secretariat what is oecd it is organization of economic cooperation and development and this is in paris in france what is the limit of turnover above which companies are mandated to submit e-invoice 
So right now, this amount is 500 crore rupees. Recently, this was notified by the government under GST. What is GST? It is goods and services tax. Previously, this limit was 100 crore. Now, it is 500 crore rupees. That means if your turnover is over 500 crore rupees, you are mandated to submit sales invoice electronically. Now, what is GST? It is goods and services tax. And for GST, we have GST council. And this council is headed by finance minister. That is union finance minister. And this GST council is a constitutional body and it is constituted as per the provisions of Article 279A. India observed the 100th death anniversary of which freedom fighter on 1st of August? Right answer is Bal Gangadhar Tilak. So this was 100th death anniversary and therefore it is very important from exam perspective. He was integral part of a trio named Lal, Bal, Pal. That is Lala Lajpat Rai, Bal Gangadhar Tilak and Bipin Chandra Pal. So 1st of August was death anniversary of Bal Gangadhar Tilak. Now in yesterday's video, I mentioned that Muslim Women's Rights Day was celebrated on 31st of July. Though some sources mentioned that it is on 1st of August. The date 31st of July was tweeted by our law minister. And you can check this tweet. Which country successfully operated Arab world's first nuclear power reactor? So this country is UAE, that is United Arab Emirates. And the name of this power reactor is Barak Power Reactor. It is the name of place. And it is built and run by a joint venture with Korea, that is South Korea. Now UAE was also in news because of various other news. It is the host of this year's IPL tournament. It was also in news because of Hope Probe. So Hope Probe was the mass mission of UAE which was launched recently and it was launched with the help of Japan. The space agency of Japan is JAXA. Recently Japan was in news because of Tonoshiro. Now answer in comment box what is Tonoshiro. Japan was also in news because of Hanko system. How many states or union territories implement the one nation one ration card scheme as on 4th of August. So 24 states and union territories have implemented this scheme. What is the objective of the scheme? Objective is to ensure the portability of ration card. That means if you are migrating from one state to another state, even after migration, you should be able to assess the benefits of various food security programs which are provided through ration card. So this is related to Ministry of Consumer Affairs. Now recently Ministry of Consumer Affairs was also in news as new Consumer Protection Act became effective from 20th of July. So this date is important. It can be asked in exam and this is going to replace that means this act of 2019. Why 2019? Because this act was passed in 2019 itself. This year it became effective. So this act of 2019 will replace the Consumer Protection Act of 1986 and this new act provides for CCPA. I have already uploaded a special video on this topic. You can watch that. Now answer in comment box what is CCPA and what is going to be the responsibility of CCPA. Which major technology company launched the second phase of More Together campaign in our country? So this is a campaign of Facebook and recently it was in news because of its second phase. So what is the objective of this campaign? Through this campaign, the Facebook will spotlight people. That means Facebook will focus on those people who connected with each other through Facebook and who jointly addressed various challenges. Now Facebook was also in news as recently it acquired Jiffy. It was also in news because of its investment in Geo. It was also in news as it acquired Mapillary. Recently, Facebook was also in news as it partnered with CBSC to introduce the curriculum on digital safety. What is the theme of World Breastfeeding Week? So the theme was support breastfeeding for a healthier planet. And from 1st of August to 7th of August, this World Breastfeeding Week is celebrated to spread awareness about the benefits of breastfeeding. And this campaign was initially organized by WABA. What is WABA? It is World Alliance for Breastfeeding Action. What is the name of Incubator Enhancement Program which was launched by Atal Innovation Mission? So the name of this program is AIM iCrest. And recently Atal Innovation Mission in collaboration with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and with Vadwani Foundation launched this AIM iCrest. So this is for support in entrepreneurship and in 
innovation now what is atal innovation mission it is the flagship program of niti aayog it is important to note that niti aayog is an executive body it is the successor of planning commission recently niti aayog was in news as it presented india's second vnr and this was presented at hlpf what is vnr it is voluntary national review so the second voluntary national review was presented recently and this was presented at united nations high level political forum so this vnr is related to our progress on sdg that is sustainable development goals where is the all india institute of ayurveda located so this institute is in new delhi recently it was in news because it has started providing free testing and treatment to the covid-19 patients my gov platform has announced a logo design contest for which government program in august 2020 So this logo design contest has been announced for Atmanirbhar Bharat Abhiyan. Recently, my GOV was in news as it completed six years. It was launched in 2014. Apart from that, recently MOD, that is Ministry of Defence, started Atmanirbhar Bharat Swatantra Bharat Quiz, and this quiz was started on my GOV. So this quiz was started to create the patriotic sense among the youth. So these were the most important questions of today's video. Now we are going to cover. important news feel free to skip it if you do not like the format so first news is related to even that is electronic vaccine intelligence network so this even provide real time information on the vaccine stocks that how many vaccines are available it also ensure the optimum storage temperature for all the vaccines so this even is related to vaccines next is isa that is international solar alliance recently it was in news because now all the members of united nations can join the isa previously the alliance that means international solar alliance was open to only those countries which lie between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn now all the countries which are the members of united nations can be the part of isa the headquarters of isa is in gurugram in haryana and isa was launched during cop 21 what is cop it is conference of parties So it was launched by the Indian Prime Minister and French President Emmanuel Macron. Next is Women Entrepreneurship and Empowerment. That is V. So this V initiative was in news recently, and it is a first of its kind social national initiative. So this is initiative by IIT Delhi, and this initiative has been started to strengthen the women entrepreneurship in our country. And for this purpose, DST. that is department of science and technology will provide the support next is ian botham so the all rounder cricketer of england was in news recently as he has been made a member of house of lords the upper house in the british parliament is popularly known as house of lords in india it is rajya sabha next is axwa so recently axis bank launched this voice automation platform and this is a bot and the name of the bot is axwa so it is ivr what is ivr it is interactive voice response next is john hume so recently the nobel peace prize winner john hume passed away he was well known politician from the northern ireland next is iccr so iccr was in news as it organized a webinar on lokmanya tilak as on 1st of august 100th death anniversary of lokmanya tilak was observed so in that context iccr organized a webinar and this webinar was inaugurated by our home minister now iccr is indian council for cultural relationships and it was set up in 1950 and it was founded by molana abul kalam azad he was our first education minister of independent india next is uv bagage bath so it is a kiosk to prevent the covid 19 and recently this has been inaugurated at the bengaluru railway station next is rakshak so it is a health assistant robot and it has been designed by the central railways to be specific it has been designed by the mumbai division of central railways and it is a health assistant robot next is sridhar jagdishan so recently rbi that is reserve bank of india approved mr jagdishan as the next md and ceo of hdfc bank and he is going to be the successor of aditya puri next is infosys finacal So recently Infosys Finical was selected by the National Bank of Bahrain to provide its services. This Infosys Finical is an entity of Infosys. Next is NTC machine. So what is the full form of NTC? 
NTC stands for New Track Construction. So this machine was used for the first time by the Indian Railways and Indian Railways is using this machine for the construction of new track. That's why it was in use. So this will help in speeding up the infrastructure development in the field of railway. Next is Defense Production and Export Promotion Policy. So recently this policy was in news because on 3rd of August draft was released for public feedback. So as per this policy DDP that is Department of Defense Production will be the nodal department for the coordination and it will be the nodal department to achieve the objectives mentioned in this policy. Now one key objective of this policy is that it aims to achieve the manufacturing turnover of 25 billion by 2025 and in this 25 billion it also have an objective of 5 billion of exports in aerospace and defense goods and services. Next is Bharat Air Fiber Services. So recently Bharat Air Fire Services has been inaugurated by Mr. Sanjay Dhotre and these services have been inaugurated in Akola in Maharashtra and it has been launched by BSNL that is Bharat Sansar Nigam Limited and last news is related to Ladakh. So recently Jammu and Kashmir administration announced 4% reservation for the Ladakh students in medical and engineering colleges. So these were the most important questions of today's video. Thank you and that's all for the day.